Before we exit out of this, I think it's time to add those sinks that I keep talking about. I'm just gonna put them on this metal layer for now. For something specific like a sink or like kitchen equipment or anything like that, rather than model it myself, unless it's super specific or something that I'm trying to design, I find it easier just to go into the default little 3D warehouse. If you're not familiar with 3D warehouse, it's a great source of user-generated content that people have uploaded. So you can't trust anything from it, like it's gospel, but you can certainly use it for stuff like sinks. So to do that, I'm going to just go to Window Components and search 3D Warehouse. It's as simple as that. They've kind of built it into the program here. So I'm going to say Kitchen Sink and see what comes up. Looking through these really quickly, I don't have much of a preference. Sometimes it takes a few tries to find the one that really works best for you. I think I'm going to go with this Kohler one. Why not? and it's as easy as that. The only caveat is to make sure that you're on the layer that you wanna be on when you go and drop this in. So you know what, after looking at this, this sink feels a little too modern for this project. Remember, this is a mid-century modern house and I wanna to try to be as true to it as possible. So maybe I can find something a little bit more simple. Well, Kohler's been good to us and they've posted all of their sinks on the 3D warehouse. Again, make sure you're on the correct layer before you import this in. Let's give this one a try. This one looks more like what I'm kind of hoping for. I'm going to hit Q to rotate it 180 degrees and I'm gonna find the midpoint of it somewhere on there. Sometimes if you have trouble finding the midpoint in somebody else's model, you need to kind of jump in there and see how they built it. And so if you triple click, you can see all of the surfaces. That's a whole lot of surfaces. And stuff like this will greatly increase the size of your model. But I think for now, I'm not too worried about that. I did find the midpoint in doing this, and I'm going to use that to place it in its correct location. You know, I'm going to hit T to go to top view. This is another one of those situations where being able to switch from something like perspective to immediately going to top view is really helpful. And I've made a mess of this thing. Let's try this one more time. Now I have it selected. I'm in top view. I can quickly position it to where it needs to be and then move it down again to where it needs to be. What I want is for the sink to be centered on two of these doors. And that looks good to me. And then I'm going to take this and just using one of the doors as kind of my reference point, bringing it over and putting it over on the other side as well. Being a big modern sink, it's not fitting so well in my petite little house. I'm going to just cheat and scale it by 0.8 and then move it. You remember we made the inside of these cabinets hollow and it was specifically for these sinks. What I'm going to do is go to my millwork surface layer and open up one of these kitchen surface components and draw a rectangle in the sink but arbitrarily on the surface. You can see the two surfaces that we have right there. And the reason I did that is because I want to just very quickly be able to grab that surface and scale it to the outer extents of my sink. Those are rounded edges and rather than fuss around with trying to cut it out exactly, I'm going to do what any carpenter would do rough it and use the flange of the sink to kind of hide all of that junk. Now we can cut out that hole for the sink. Looks like it worked pretty well. I'm going to do the same thing for this counter. I'm going to go triple click, select the countertop surface. I'm going to close that components tab. I don't need it anymore. And then arbitrarily draw a rectangle in that sink. Now that I have that, I can cut the hole and I can just kind of push it and pull it into place. I must have put this one a little lower on accident. So now that I'm out, I can pop this guy back up a quarter of an inch. And that's too much. Slash eight. All right. And then the very last thing, I want to be sure that that is part of this group. So when I grab the whole kitchen, those come with. So I'm going to control X, open up the group, and paste in place.